Welcome to the Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at a feature of the task manager called App History. If you want to know how much uh, data, how much CPU usage each app takes on Windows 10, well this is a great little feature for uh, Windows 10 and I believe it is on Windows 8 also. So you go to the task manager, just right click at the bottom on the taskbar and go to task manager or you can right click on the start menu go to task manager if you have a touch device touch and hold click task manager and if it shows up as a very small box like this just click more details at the bottom and uh, then you can expand it so basically uh, when you are on the task manager, you have a tab at the top that's called App History. And if you click there, you'll see all the apps that your computer has and how, how much usage you had from all of these apps. Now, one of the negative sides doesn't show the desktop programs. You know, if you have a lot of desktop programs, unfortunately, it doesn't show any information about that. And that's a little sad. It would have been nice to add that to this feature. But if you're a big app user, or if you're like me, pretty much half and half, and want to know how much um, you know these apps take in uh, CPU time, and how much data they take on the network, and so on, this is pretty cool to see. Basically, you'll see on the upper left it says resource usage since 9/5/2015, so it gives me 30 days. As you see here, we are uh, October 5th. It gives me the details from September 5th up to October 5th. Basically, you can click at any tab, CPU time, network, meter, network, and tile updates. So if you click on CPU time, for example, here I have a list of all the CPU time taken by apps in the last 30 days. So Groove Music, that I use a lot, took an hour of CPU time. Um, Cortana, you see 15 minutes of CPU time and so on. Microsoft Edge, 28 minutes and so on. So it gives you an idea of the CPU time each app has taken. Then the second um, column you click is network uh, data, basically. It's the amount of megabytes downloaded. So Cor Groove Music downloaded 12 gigs, as you see here, because I'm a big, big, big user of uh, Groove Music, and I did download a lot of music in my computer. Uh, Cortana, Store, Yahoo Mail, and so on. You see how much data. So if you're unlimited, you know, data, it's interesting because you can see how much data each app is using. Even more interesting, if you're on a metered connection, if you have really, really limited data and you set your computer to a metered connection, then you'll see how much of that data is actually the taken on the metered connection. So you'll see, for example, Groove Music. And if you have times of connection on metered connection, you might see, okay, 12 gigs on, or 11 gigs on the network and one gig on metered connection. That means that, uh, you know, one of the one gig of data was taken from the metered connection. Now here it shows zero to me because I'm not on metered connection and I've never used really a metered connection. So there's no information about that. And then there's tile updates. That is basically all the updates that a tile can give you, uh, the news, uh, app, for example, all the news updates, uh, Facebook app, all the updates from the Facebook, which doesn't take a lot of stuff, basically a lot of data and so on. So you can check it out and uh, see how much of all of these apps. Like I said, the only negative side that's missing here is the fact that it doesn't show regular programs. It only shows apps that are on the computer and that come from the Windows Store. So if you install new apps, you'll have those available here on the uh, app history in the task manager. So it's a great way to see how much CPU time and network and that, uh, you know, data that takes these apps. And uh, it's a you know quick look at all the information here. That's quite interesting to uh, see, uh, depending on what you use. Uh, in apps on Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, any problems, why not ask away? We'll try to help you if we can. Um, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. And hopefully, you will come back to our channel. Thank you for following us and hope to see you again.